Okay, so here's the Linux XC20. And uh, let me show you guys from inside. This is the one with the quantum coil, so they fixed the coil before it used to be copper. Now they changed the quantum so they don't have those coil leaking issues. It's a really good unit. Plastic tray. You have a TXV. Fairly well made unit. This is a tray on the, if you're using the thing as a horizontal, but you can remove that if you're using a vertical setup. Here's the controller, the smart controller. And here I'm gonna put the heater unit. This is the fan that we removed from the unit. And we're gonna reinstall it. And the fan goes right here. It's a variable speed unit with a variable speed air handler. iComfort S30 setup. I'm gonna replace this. Ecobee with this. Okay, so I removed the coil. As you can see, this is the quantum coil, all aluminum. The reason you wanna do that is because we're gonna put this on there once we're done with the duct work. And uh, we're gonna just put it on there. And we have to make sure we cut it the proper size for the airflow. And it's also easier for you to lift it instead of lifting the whole thing with the motor and the coil. So it's gonna be much more easier. One thing I removed from the side was this drain pan. And uh, so it comes with two drain pans. One is at the bottom for the vertical mount. And uh, this one came on the side. So in case if you're doing the horizontal mount, you know, the tray is already there. But since we're not doing the horizontal mount, I removed that tray as it's recommended by the manufacturer. I think we're ready to put this unit on there. Placed all that inside. It doesn't have to look pretty. Just have to apply some over there. But overall looking good. Make sure you just cover every part of it so there's nothing left. And now we're gonna cut this wood and put it right here. It's nice and sturdy. Here's the opening, you can see, nice and big. We're here, we're finishing up the duct work. Okay, the duct work is installed. We just have to make sure it's nicely taped so we don't have any issues later on. Okay guys, so it's almost ready. You can see on top I installed the heater and also the breaker. The wiring is almost complete for the communication for the S30 and also for the AC wiring. Here's what it looks like upstairs. You can see it's right in. And uh, same thing over here. This one, you know, I don't have a reducer, so we're just gonna brace it like that and we'll make it happen. I know not the best way to do it, but you know, at this time, on the weekend, everything is closed. I don't have time to go get a reducer and stuff. So we'll see how it works out. So we'll make it work. So I'm just gonna run nitrogen. It's gonna come in, go through, and then uh, we'll brace it. So here you can see, I'm running nitrogen, so now we're going to be brazing 
the smaller pipe upstairs by the air handler so I connected it to the smaller one the uh, nitrogen coming out from here so it's all good the guy is gonna be brazing upstairs on this line so let's go check him out check him out okay we're running nitrogen brazing this side So guys, once I complete this brazing, uh, that would be the end of the installation of the air handler. So here is the final installation. Here you can see the controller for the S30 Linux system, which I am going to show you in a separate video. Check out the link below in the description for that video. Here you can see I taped the side, the float switch wiring. And uh, here's the power supply wire. And um, on the bottom, you'll see how I did the drain pipe you can see there's a nice pitch you want to make sure you have a nice pitch for the water to flow and this is the uh, access if you ever need to put any capsules or you know chemicals in there to clean the line and uh, that's the best way to do it this is the float switch in case if there's an overflow the water comes in here you know if there's a block on the pipe on this pipe the water comes in and cut the air condition unit off pretty much and uh, that's just for safety reasons so you don't have any flooding in the house with the water and uh, so that's that's what the complete uh, setup looks like after the installation one thing i do want to tell you is you want to make sure you cover the suction pipe with the foam and uh, then you can tape the other two the other one the high pressure line needs to stay bare naked like that you know you definitely don't want to put any kind of foam on there the only reason i taped it is just to avoid any vibration or things like that but you, the only way you're going to do this is uh, together after you put the foam on. So here you can see the final installation looks nice and clean. And guys, uh, this is the end of the video showing the installation of the air handler. But if you want to see the remaining installation of the outside condenser unit, click on the link below in the description. And please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.